Hello, welcome back everybody. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I'm going through a bit of an illness right now, so my voice isn't that great. But that doesn't matter. Today, uh, since I'm not really doing anything, it's a Saturday. So, uh, I thought it'd be fun to give you a tour of the new game room. Yeah, uh, I moved back last September, last, no, not last September, last June, so about four months ago. So since then, I've kind of set up a new establishment for myself. And I thought, now that's uh, in a pleasant state, I thought I'd give you a little tour. Here's the basic overview of what it's like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All that stuff. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna go through every single part of this room. It's just to give you an idea of, like, what there is to do. I guess first to go over here, this is the coat rack, or hat rack, whatever you're like. There's my, uh, my sweatshirt over there, and there's my, uh, fourth doctor scarf. And, uh, down there is my keyboard. Yeah. It's, a uh, an old, uh, Yamaha MIDI keyboard, I believe. <clears throat> or it might be, a uh, Casio. I'm not exactly sure what brand it is, but it's, uh, it worked great. Anyway, let's, first thing when you walk this room is on your right, or on your left, you'll see this massive, uh, this massive shelf slash cabinet, but I'm going to show you the cabinet later. Okay, uh, starting on the top shelf, this is my, uh, vocal music award that I, uh, that I received from, during my 8th grade graduation ceremony. I was very, very much heavily involved in my, uh, school choir in middle school. So, I guess they gave this to me for whatever reasons. And there's a small little genie lamp. Oh, there's my uh, second Super Nintendo. And right here is my original GameCube. Uh, this is the, uh, the reason why I don't use this one anymore is because uh, a while ago, I think it got sort of rained on. So, I, so uh, the, the plug, the AC adapter kind of short-circuited, or whatever the technical term is. I used my, the AC adapter on my current Super Nintendo on this, and it still works, it's just... The weird thing is it only plays the games in black and white. I know, it's kind of strange. But I have a new one, so I'll get to that later. Anyway, on the first shelf here are issues 199 to uh, 270 of Game Informer magazine. I've been subscribed to Game Informer for about mm, six years. It's October, so yeah, six years. And... Uh, I, I, I don't know, I don't really read these that often, but I just like collecting them. When I do read them, they're pretty interesting. Over here are the boxes to uh, my original 3DS and my brother's original 3DS. Some real D 3D glasses, and a Super Mario uh, clothing tag thing. Over here is a, a, a chip, I guess a, a USB chip, a USB card for a game called uh, Steam-A-Lot Epoch's Adventure. It's a pretty cool game. I, uh, my brother and I got that at too many games le this past year. Over there is the box for my brother's uh, NES-themed 3DS XL. One thing I really like about this box is that it's actually themed to look like the original Nintendo Entertainment System. It even has the uh, video and audio jacks on the side. I think that's pretty cool. And the, this 3DS as a whole is really awesome. Because it's, it's themed after the NES. So, of course, I'm going to love it. Over here... These are some empty packets for uh, uh, Japanese Super Mario 3D World trading cards. I only got three of them because I don't really care that much. I just wanted to collect. Just wanted to get them because I'm into collectibles like that. Here's the box for my uh, Mario SH Figure Arts figure, and in the back is the box for my Luigi Amiibo from the Super Mario series. And on the second shelf here, this is my entire Doctor Who collection. Now, if you watch my videos for a while, you, you might know how much of a Doctor Who fan I am, but I, I'm a really huge fan, just in case you forgot. In the front here, you got all the Doctors from uh, William Hartnell, Patrick Troughton, John Pertwee, Tom Baker, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sebastian McCoy, Paul McGann, John Hurt, Chris Rackleson, David Tennant, Matt Smith, and Peter Capaldi. And in the back, you can see I uh, got the, uh, the uh, Series 5 Flight Control TARDIS and the 7th Doctor's TARDIS over there. Surrounding them are a bunch of Daleks, Sonic screwdrivers, uh, Cyberman in the back, and some various figures and pins. It's a pretty impressive collection. I like the look of the shelf. And on the bottom shelf here, I got a giant plush Mario, and a magazine rack with a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of papers and various things. And there is where I keep all the DS games. That little uh, question block. Uh, I don't really have a, I only really have another place for them. So, I just like to keep them there. 
just for uh, convenience. Now, in this cabinet here, if you open it up, you'll see that it contains uh, pretty much all of my controllers. On the top here, we got the Wii Wheels, uh, Wii Motion Plus, some GameCube controllers, uh, PlayStation 2, there's an AC adapter for the Nintendo 64, and, oh, let me tell you about this. Uh, so when I got my Nintendo 64, I had to get it in various pieces because um, the whole set with the uh, console and the controller and the wires and everything, it was like, I guess most expensive was like 60 or $70, so I had to get everything separately. The console was about like 30 the controller was about 10 and the wires were about like 5 each. So, uh, when I got this controller, it showed a picture of this. I thought it was just a regular Nintendo 64 controller, but when I got it in the mail, it turned out to be a USB controller. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of a kick in the face, uh, slap in the face, pardon. Um, but I, I, have a, I have an N64 emulator on my computer, and this works pretty well. Uh, sometimes analog control can be a bit too sensitive, but it works great nonetheless. Now on the bottom shelf, I've got some PlayStation 2 controllers. Uh, there's the Wii Classic controller, a Wii Remote, extra nunchucks, NES and Super Nintendo controllers, extra GameCube controllers, Wii U Pro controller, Luigi themed Wii Remote, and the Wii Remote charger. It's a pretty good place for it, actually. Close that up. And we'll go over here to the main gaming area. First thing to note is the uh, giant plush Mario. It just kind of stares into your soul. And he's creepy like that. Alright, over here I've got the uh, got some a whole bunch of PlayStation 2s. These are my brothers. And now my brother, my brother Mike, he has like five PlayStation 2s. And he only uses like two or three of them. Over here i got some two uh, slim PS2 models. And on the bottom here is a giant like the giant huge model. The fun thing about this model is that this is a Japanese PlayStation 2 and that's to play Japanese games. We do have some Japanese games and that's why we got this. Let's move that game out of the way. Okay, over here we have the Wii and the Wii U. You can see I'm using the Wii right now to get some footage of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Over here is uh, one of the, over here are the switcher boxes so I can switch between the different games. Right now it's set to VCR on box 1 that's hooked up to the Wii. If I wanted to use, like, I don't know, the PS1, I'd switch it to a game on box one. If I wanted to use consoles hooked up to the other box, I just hit the auxiliary port on box one, and that's connected to box two. So both these boxes are connected together, and as a result, connected to the TV. This is the big uh, HD TV from uh, Insignia. This is a Best Buy brand, and I really like them. Still, I'm still shocked. Still amazed that I have this TV at all. Anyway, below here, this is the DVD player. On top is the, the sensor bar for the Wii. Below that is the cable box, because, yes, I do watch TV, sometimes. Over there is just some various cardboard boxes. And here's a, a PS1 controller, which is, of course, is hooked up to the PS1. Yes, I do own an original PlayStation. Sorry if there are so many dishes over here. So yeah, this is the original PlayStation. Uh, there's nothing in there right now, and uh, I've been meaning to get one for a while now, ever since I started watching uh, Catacrisis videos, and uh, yeah, I this is probably one of my favorite game consoles of all time. It's great. Oh, over here, this, this is my sketchbook. I have a drawing of the fifth Doctor right here. Maybe I'll show that uh, some other time. Okay, over there is the, uh, the Retron, which is kind of not working at the moment, but it should play NES games normally. Oh, while, I'm, while this is here, I should show you this. This is the Japanese version of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Uh, my brother actually got this, but uh, both he and I consider this to be like the holy grail of our game collection. Because Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, it's like, it's like one of our favorite games. We just love it so much. So, we got that. Over there, this is the Atari Flashback. It has like 75 built-in Atari games. It's not currently set up right now, because I have so many other consoles hooked up as it is. And next to that, this is my third Super Nintendo. This isn't the original one I had, this is the third one I've ever gotten, and it's aged remarkably well. Look, there's like, there's no yellow at all. I'm very surprised. And yes, it works great. Over here is just a lamp with some posters in the back here that we haven't taped up or na nailed up, pinned up yet. 
because uh, we're hoping to get these walls painted soon. So yeah, uh, over there is my camera bag, some sketches over there, the fan. Right here is my laptop, where, um, as, as you can see, um, I've just been taking a break from recording footage. You know. uh, for those who've been wondering what capture software I use, um, I use a Honest Tech VHS to DVD 4.0. It's a VHS to DVD converter, so you can record VHS tapes and convert them to DVDs or like normal media files. Um, the only problem is that only problem with this is that sometimes the videos can appear a little bit fuzzy. In fact, a lot of people commented on that in the uh, Super Mario Maker video. I've been hoping to upgrade. I'm meaning to upgrade. I just don't have the uh, I just don't have the money for it at the moment, but I will eventually. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, so. Now we get to uh, the big mess of desk that I have here. This is basically my workstation. I should talk about uh, the things I have on my desk. Over there is a Pac-Man energy drink, a Nintendo-themed calendar, my uh, high school graduation picture, some Doctor Who merchandise, uh, like a Lego Ninth Doctor, Dalek, and a, a Silence that's kind of fallen over. There's a Cyberman bust. There's a light-up TARDIS, a red Dalek, uh, a Zygon, a Weeping Angel, a Cyberman, and a case. Over there is the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, over there is the moment from the 50th anniversary special. And there's another Dalek over there. There's a pack, tiny Pac-Man arcade machine. And, oh man, this, I gotta talk about this. Um, if you're an Ed's World, if you're an Ed's World fan at all, you might recognize this. This is a, uh, a fan drawing of Paul Trevord, the uh, show's lead animator. And, this has been kind of a running joke between him and like his his friends, and sometimes this appears in other episodes. I thought this was so hilarious that I just had to print this out and get it framed, and I did, and it's like the funniest thing ever. So there's that story. Over here, this is over here is my microphone. It's an Audio Technica, uh, I think ATR twenty five hundred, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. It prob it's probably wrong. Uh, this works fantastically. In the uh, before this, I used to use like a just a basic USB Rock Band microphone. Like you plug it into the Wii and you can play Rock Band with it. But uh, just recently, I got to upgrade to this, and it works so much better. I should point out the uh, the pop filter that I use for my for my microphone was used on my old microphone uh, on the stand that I used for it. But because I didn't have a pop filter, I figured I'd hook it up to this, and it works great. I love it. Over there, over here are my speakers, which are work, work remarkably well. Here's my monitor. I love this thing. There's a keyboard and mouse. Over there is a Fennekin plushie. It's my, it's again, it's my brother's, not mine. There's my desktop. It's a Windows 8 PC, which I'm kind of sad about because I don't like Windows 8 very much. But at least on the side, there are some Super Mario Galaxy 2 stickers, which uh, are phenomenal. I actually got these at a dentist office, a dentist office, like a few years ago. Might have been a year or two, but uh, I just kept these around because I wanted to use, I wanted to use them for something. So um, I use them for that. Anyway, uh, oh, creeping around here, working my way around. I'm gonna turn this light on. There we go. Now we get to these these monumental shelves. Monumental in the sense that there's a lot of games on them. Okay, first at the top, I should talk about this old, this old-fashioned radio. Now, um, when we moved, when my family and I, when we moved here, this was basically my welcome, my welcoming gift from the church that my mom works at, because uh, the receptionist had this in her office. It doesn't work, but I just love old things, so I just asked if I could have it, and they said, yeah. But this, if you like old technology too, this is gorgeous. Look at this. It's got like a leather casing on all. On all sides, excuse me, Ugh. and uh, sw old-fashioned switches. It's just great. And below that, got like an orange Wii U gamepad stylus, and some oh, there's some rubies, rupees, sorry, from the Legend of Zelda. Now, I'm not the biggest Zelda fan in the world, but I got these at an anime convention this past year, and I thought these were really cool, so I just decided to get them just for fun. Working all the way down. The first, the first shelf on this, well, shelf, um, I, have the, I have my collection of PS1 games. Now, these aren't all mine. My brother and I actually share our collection. 
as it is. So I'm just going to go through the games that we have. And I'm going to note which one, which ones are mine and which ones are my brother's. Uh, for my games, I have uh, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2, Crash Bandicoot 3, Crash Team Racing, uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, uh, Madden NFL 97, Motor Tune Grand Prix, signed by Some Call Me Johnny, Namco Museum Volume 1, Namco Museum Volume 3, NHL 99, Pac-Man World, SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge, Tetris Plus, and Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. Now, my, for my brother's collection, he has Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 9, uh, the Japanese version of Klonoa Door to Phantom Mile. It's a pretty good game, actually. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. Let's see. And, oh, the Japanese version of a game called Vib Ribbon. Uh, it's basic. This is made by the same developers of uh, Parappa the Rapper and Um Jammer Lammy, but um, from personal experience, my brother and I find this to be the best one. So, yeah. And then there are old DS's and 3DS's, and there's an empty box for uh, one of my Yu-Gi-Oh! structure decks. Big Yu-Gi-Oh! kid, by the way. Right, down here are my Super Nintendo games. Now, my brother doesn't really... My brother's not really into Super Nintendo as much as I am, as far as I believe, so uh, I'm just gonna go through these. So these are mostly mine. And uh, first, first up here is the Super Game Boy. And I got Super Mario Land in there. But this isn't just, this isn't just any Super Game Boy. This is a Super Game Boy autographed by Vinny from Vine Sauce. Yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty cool, I guess. Anyway, I got a uh, Cliffhanger, the game based off the Sylvester Stallone movie. All right, here's Donkey Kong Country, Jurassic Park, uh, Mario Paint, another copy of Mario Paint, Metal Combat Falcon's Revenge, Super Mario All-Stars, my favorite game of all time, Super Mario World, SWAT Cats, The Radical Squadron, and Tetris Attack. This is a great puzzle game. And, oh, here's a Super Nintendo and Super Nintendo Controller and SNES Mouse. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm hoping to expand, but what are you going to do? On this shelf, our uh, Game, Boy, Game Boy Advance collection. There's the original Game Boy Advance, next to it the Game Boy Advance SP. Um, I'm going to try my best to go through these games without making too much of a mess. First up, we have uh, Cars Made International, Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, uh, I don't know what this one is, the F Zone of the Enders, The Fist of Mars, uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 Trials for Glory, Super Mario Advance 1, which has Super Mario Bros. 2. Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. Spyro Season of Ice. Pokemon Fire Red. And Classic NES Series Super Mario Bros. I have more games, but they're probably... I don't know where they are. They're just around here somewhere. But whatever. Here are my... Here's my very small collection of NES games. They're not that big. But um, I'm proud of the games I own. Uh, out of the games that are my, let's see. Oh, I don't even care. Uh, here's Dr. Mario, the original Legend of Zelda, signed by Team Cinemassacre. Pro Wrestling, Spy vs. Spy. The original Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3. Oh dear. Signed by Team Cinemassacre, including James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd. Uh, the original Tetris. And Yoshi, which is also signed by Team Cinemassacre. In fact, uh, Mike Matei even did a drawing of Mario on the back, which is pretty cool. Oh, here. And over here are just various NES controllers. Down here we have uh, PlayStation 2 games. Most of these are probably just ironic purchases, but the rest are games that we really like. Anyway, here's uh, Agent Under Fire, a 007 game. Uh, Buzz the... M Mega Quiz, ESPN 2K5, Final Fantasy X2, Guitar Hero 3, uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2, the Japanese version of Klonoa 2, Madden NFL 2005, Madden NFL 2007, MLB 2006, a game called Maji Ribbon, it's a, it's a rhythm game, it's pretty cool. 
uh, NASCAR Thunder 2004, NHL 2004, Sims Bustin' Out, Sly Cooper and Thievius Raccoonus, Sly 2, Band of Thieves, Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves, SSX Tricky, Liars, and uh, Vib Ripple, the, se the sequel to Vib Ribbon. And on these small little jewel cases here, I got uh, The Incredibles, Crash to Insanity, another copy of SSX Tricky, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, focus camera, uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, The Misadventures, and Cars, based off the Pixar movie. I, the, thing with the, car, the thing with Cars and The Incredibles is that I used to have the GameCube versions of those games, but uh, they got lost a long time ago, so I got the PlayStation 2 versions, which thankfully are just about the same as the GameCube versions, so not, not a huge loss there. Anyway, GameCube games. Down here we've got uh, the Animal Crossing, Another Ed and Eddie the Misadventures, which was the first version that I played. It's a pretty good game. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Party 7, Mario Superstar Baseball, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, probably the best GameCube game ever, in my opinion. Uh, Sonic Advent the only the box for Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. I'll talk about that later. Sonic Gems Collection, Sonic Heroes, Sonic Mega Collection, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Super Mario Strikers, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Smash Bros. Melee, which is an awesome game, Wallace and Gromit, Project Zoo, another awesome game, and the box for Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Let me talk about why I only have the box for Sonic Adventure DX. Um, as you recall, my top 10 beach levels in video games, I talk about my experience with Sonic Adventure DX. How I played, a, uh, I went over to a friend's house and played this game, and I got stuck because I was in one of the hub worlds and I didn't know what to do. So uh, before I could, uh, so he kind of uh, gave me the game to play it at my house, but when I took it home and I opened the box, there was, there was no game in it. Yeah, he only gave me the box. He left the game in his house. Before I could get it from him, um, we moved to a different town. So, yeah, that's the story. Falsebound Kingdom, I just lost my original copy. Plain and simple. Down there are just a bunch of discs, and there's the SNES mouse pad. And that's this shelf. Let's look at this shelf. First, I should address the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 20th Anniversary uh, Sonic Generation statue, which is pretty cool. They're running on a gold ring. So, yeah. Uh, first to talk about are the 3DS games. Now, um, the collection's actually growing quite a bit. First, there's uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. My brother's copy of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Epic Mickey, Power of Illusion. Kingdom Hearts 3D, Dream Drop Distance. Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds. Another copy of Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time 3D. Luigi's Mansion 2. Mario Kart 7. Mario Party Island Tour, Mario Tennis Open, Paper, ugh, ugh, ugh. Get, get the out of here. Uh, anyway, uh, there's Pilot Wings Resort, Pokemon Y, Sims 3, Sonic Generations, Sonic Lost World, Star Fox 64, Super Mario 3D Land, Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS, Tomodachi Life, Ultimate NES Remix, and Yoshi's New Island. And this is just a, a carrying case for different 3DS games. Ugh. Now, uh, before, it gets, uh, before it gets to the reason why I have two copies of Link Between Worlds, when we look at the soundtrack CDs. First, there's uh, Bruno Floss's uh, CD, Bits of Me, which was signed by Bruno Floss. And then you have the, the, the Beatles' White Album, uh, Beatles' Rubber Soul, With the Beatles, uh, Steam Mot, Epic... Steam, Steam a lot's journey. Uh, there's the soundtrack to The Amazing Spider-Man 2. There's the soundtrack to Majora's Mask, and the soundtrack to Super Smash Brothers. Oh, and this is just called uh, Japanese for Dummies. So yeah, I like the Beatles a lot. Just in case you can tell. Now let me explain why I have two copies of Link Between Worlds. Uh, this is my first copy. Uh, I got this as a Christmas gift in 2013, and I played this game a lot. 
and I, I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought it was... Honestly, this might just be the, the best Zelda game I ever played. Definitely the only one I really enjoyed playing. Uh, so, so while I was playing it, like a few months later, uh, my dog found my copy of it, like lying around, I guess. It was in the, uh, the carrying case. And uh, she chewed it up. Chewed up the entire case. It had like a bunch of games in it, and most of them were completely destroyed, this game included. So, and th that was when I got to like to the dark world, when I got to low world. So, um, to make up for it, we got a second copy, and uh, that's why I only have two boxes of it, because uh kind of stuck with them. So, this, the one on the far right is my second copy, and if we ever get like a, a cartridge-only copy of Link Between Worlds, we'll probably put it in the other box, and maybe give it to my brother. So, there's that story. On the bottom here are... Uh, DS games. First, there's a Ben 10 Alien Force, Carnival Games, Drawn to Life: The Next Chapter, Drawn to Life: SpongeBob, Kingdom Hearts 358 Days of the Two, uh, Margo's Word Brain. I don't know. Uh, Mario and Luigi: Bowser's Inside Story, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. A very bad uh, cover up for Mario Kart DS with Mario Kart Super Circuit. The only reason why the, the case looks like this is because uh, as being the stupid 10-year-old that I was, I destroyed my original my original cover art for Mario Kart DS, so I had to make a new one. And, yeah. Anyway, uh, here's Mario Party DS, My Sims Kingdom, New Super Mario Brothers, Rayman Raving Rabbids 2, which is actually the first DS game I played, Rayman Raving Rabbids TV Party, Rhythm Heaven, Scribblenauts, Sims 2 Castaway, uh, Solo to Robo, Red the Hunter, which is actually one of the rarest DS games ever. This only made like, there's only like 100,000 copies of this game, so it's pretty cool. Uh, here's Sonic Rush, Sonic Rush Adventure, and two copies of Super Scribble Outs. I don't know why we have two copies. That's just how life is, I guess. Right, anyway, down here are the Wii U games. First, we got a Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. DuckTales Remastered, Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2, Hyrule Warriors, Mario Kart 8, Mario Party 10, NES Remix Pack, New Super Mario Bros. U, Nintendo Land, Scribblenauts Unlimited, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, Sonic Lost World, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Maker, and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Pretty awesome. And over there is my Game Boy. Nice. Uh, I doubt that it still works, but uh, it's, it's, just, it's just nice to own it. Down here are Wii games. I got uh, mostly just shovelware, like uh, All Star Cheer Squad, Beatles Rock Band, Boom Blocks, Cars Racerama, CSI uh, Hard Evidence, I guess, Dance Dance Revolution. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Just Dance 3, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> here's a Kirby's Dream Collection, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, the, the Wii Remake of Klonoa, or as I like to call it, the Wii Make, I'm sorry, here's Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, Lego Rock Band, Lego Star Wars 3, Madden NFL 2007, Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Mario Kart Wii. Mario Party 9. Uh, Mario Power Tennis. Mario Strikers Charged. Mario Super Sluggers, which is actually a really fun game. Uh, Metroid Other M. My Sims Agents. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Rabbids Go Home. Rock Band 2. Rock Band 3, Sonic Colors, Super Mario All-Stars, the 25th Anniversary Edition, and I have Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 over there, but uh, haven't put them back on the shelf yet. Anyway, here's Super Paper Mario, another copy of Super Paper Mario, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, a GameStop cover for Wario Land Shake It, the game is in there too. There's Wii Music, Wii Play, 
Wii Sports, and Wii Sports Resort. And holding those games together is my good friend Rockington. Uh, my, brother and I, my brother and I had this joke where it's like, everybody talks about their favorite My Little Pony characters, and one day I was just randomly, I randomly drew this a face on this rock that I found in the house, and I was like, can't forget everyone's favorite My Little Pony character, Rockington. And uh, Rockington is kind of a character from JonTron, so that kind of stuck with us. And here, um, just a very small collection of PlayStation 3 games. Uh, we have more, but they're downstairs. Uh, my brother has a the HD remakes of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, um, HD 1.5 remix and uh, HD 2.5 remix. Uh, anyway, here's Lego Batman 3, here's Minecraft, Skate 3, and the PS3 version of Sonic Generations. It's pretty cool. And down there is the Super Mario History soundtrack CD and the box for Kirby's Dream Collection, among other assorted things. Ugh, I'm gonna get up now. I move over here, there's a, a sitting chair. This used to be my computer chair, but it got too uncomfortable, and it doesn't uh, spin very well. It's kind of loud and squeaky, so we use it for just basic, just sitting around doing nothing. There's my Mario-themed Wii Remote. Um, there's a, a Saturday Night Live DVD, Best of Adam Sandler. Oh, there's Mario Galaxy 2. Another chair, a small table where the Wii U gamepad is. There's the recliner for sitting, there's a lamp, and in this closet, I can just open this up, assorted, all assorted things. There's some uh, rock band stuff down there. There's my tripod, boxes, more boxes, posters, uh, more boxes, and more boxes, and some assorted sketchbooks and yearbooks, I believe. And there's some clothes in there because uh, there's not enough room for other clothes in this house. Over up here is my Mario shelf. It's my entire Mario collection. Up there are plushies with a small cameo from Rover from Animal Crossing. And this is a Mario themed pack of a deck of poker cards. It's really, really cool. Some, uh, um, I don't know, just random figures over here. There's like Wario and Donkey Kong, and there's the Super Mario Brothers movie Mario. Because, yeah. Some more assorted figures over here, including Toads, Warios, and Bowsers, and Question blocks and print a uh, little wooden 8 bit Princess Peach that I made in Witch Shop class a few years ago. And down here, this is just Mario and Luigi. This entire Mario and Luigi. And there uh, my Mario Smash Brothers amiibo. And just some custom Lego figures and all that stuff. There's an empty energy drink can. I, I gotta say, this is a pretty impressive collection. Down here, is the DVD shelf, but on top of this, I got a whole bunch of stuff. There's the box for the Mario Wii Remote, the Mario History booklet, the Mario Maker booklet, a Samus Amiibo, Pac-Man, the Mario 3D World trading cards, uh, Mario Luigi Amiibos in front of the Mario Checker set. There's the box for Nintendo Land that came with the Luigi Remote. Some Japanese New Super Mario Bros. Wii Balance World games. A little 3D printed question block. The box for the Super Mario Maker bundle, a glass Pepsi bottle, and a glass Coke bottle from the 60s, and the Super Mario World instruction booklet. Now, I'm not just, this isn't the, this isn't just the front cover of the booklet, this is the actual instruction manual that I framed and put up on my shelf, because I, lo I love the game so much that I had to frame the instruction manual. Makes sense. <clears throat> anyway, down here are DVDs. Most of, my, most of my DVDs, anyway. There's Creature Comforts, uh, Doctor Who, uh, Season 7 through 10 of Friends. I don't watch Friends that much. I just got these because my girlfriend watches Friends. There's Season 1 of Futurama, which is an awesome show. There's this movie called I'll Be There, which was uh, co-written, directed by, and stars Craig Ferguson. Yeah, that Craig Ferguson. I watched it recently, and it's not that bad. I think I might do a video about it. And there's a Lazy McGuire movie for some reason, uh, some Mario cartoons, Muppets, Nostalgia Critic, Open Season, uh, Shaun the Sheep, Shrek, South Park the movie, Spider-Man, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, I actually like that movie. What? Well, I do like that movie. Anyway, uh, there's the Toy Story films, there's Up, there's Wallace and Gromit, there's Wreck-It Ralph, uh, the Beatles' Yellow Submarine, there's another Doctor Who box, 
some PSP games, and my Blu-rays. For my Blu-rays, I just have The Amazing Spider-Man, Big Hero 6, The Cat in the Hat, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, The Simpsons Movie, and uh, Yogi Bear. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. And there's the box for my Mario Party 10 bundle. There's the original NES on top, under the Nintendo 64. There's my second GameCube, the Retro Entertainment System. The complete series of Monty Python's Flying Circus on DVD. A Beatles ceramic mug, that was a gift to me from my girlfriend, love you Ronnie. And some colored pencils. I want to talk about the GameCube for a second. This is the, I said this was the second one I got, and the first one was up there. That GameCube that I got was from... I got that as a Christmas gift in 2006. Come on, focus. And uh, after a while, playing, that, playing, it, playing games on that, uh, for whatever reason, the, uh, the disc reader on the GameCube broke. The, it still works, but it just stopped reading the discs, and I don't know why. So uh, because of that, we got this new one. But guess what? The disc reader on this GameCube broke as well. So uh, we can't use any of these. But thankfully, the Wii has built-in GameCube, so we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, wrapping things up, the bottom shelf here. It's just a bunch of random assorted books, uh, some, some volumes for Shonen Jump, uh, instruction manuals, I mean, like, I mean, strategy guides, sorry. Uh, some, and some sort of books in the manga and the sort. Uh, yeah, not, not too interesting there. So, uh, just turn this around. And that's basically the, the, the new game room. I really like how it's turning out. It took a few months to get it all set up. But I think it turned out really well. I, I think, um, what, I'm really looking forward to what we're going to do with it. I'm really hoping to get like a couch over there and like just get more big shelves on the walls and paint the walls and put the posters up as well. But um, for what we have right now, it's a pretty good start. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you made it this far. I don't know why you would want to watch a video like this like this far in. I imagine like you would get pretty bored. I imagine you get pretty bored after like the first, mm, after the first 30 seconds or so. But if you made it this far, I'm genuinely impressed that you care so much about what my house looks like. Uh, well, uh, anyway, if you liked this video, if you want to watch my other, more, better videos, um, then you can, you can hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments. I, I kind of enjoy doing this, actually. So, uh... Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, as always, this is Mark, a.k.a. Super Smash 3S, bidding you all a smashing farewell. Take care.